Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie review. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie star as John and Jane Smith, two expertly trained world-class assassins whose identities are a secret to everyone, including each other. They are they work for two rival companies and one day they are both given the same target and they spot each other and ID each other and they are both given 48 hours to kill the other and to bring things under control or they will be dealt with. The the movie is essentially a popcorn action flick, but it really is a very entertaining ride. The acting is quite good from both of them. They're really some of the only... There aren't a lot of characters in this, or at least, you know, hardly anyone appears for very long. Other than the two of them, the only person who spends enough time on screen to really deserve being called a character and not a cameo or you know an extra is Vince Vaughn who Vince Vaughn's himself through the movie he plays Pitt's friend and you know co-worker who lives with his mother yeah that actually brings me nicely to the humor it can be kind of annoying and not very funny for, you know, a bit of it. It does get to be quite funny. The That's actually also where the film is at its best. When, you know, what we are seeing and what is being said is really an allegory for marriage. You know, the... that That's, you know, the best jokes the best action and you know some of just the best developments and scenes really revolve around this you know concept of these two people not really knowing who they married and you know how this affects their performance as assassins once they realize that you know because they, they've had to lie to each other, make up, you know, pasts and jobs to keep the secret. And, you know, the middle portion of the film is really the best of the entire film. The best action, the best, you know, just, it's, it's the most interesting. It's also by far the most tense. There's, you know, the... Actually, the best example of tension is right after they've both realized that the other assassin on the job was, you know, their spouse. And, you know, John comes home for dinner, you know, as usual. And, you know, he now has to worry, is, you know, is she trying to poison me, you know? And they're just... It's a nice, clever, and very, very tense scene of them trying to get the upper hand in the situation. You know, she, you know, she's behind him when he takes his seat as a, you know, kind gesture and, you know, pulls out the chair and everything. And, yeah, just that whole thing is great. The action is phenomenal. They're just the choreography and the weapon choices and the situations, you know, we've got shootouts, car chases, and just, yeah, and they get, you know, through several different kinds of weaponry, you know, explosives, rocket launcher, you know, your basic, you know, handguns, submachine guns, Explosives, yeah, they get through quite a bit. For being a, a Hollywood action movie about, you know, people trying to kill other people and, you know, spies and that whole kind of thing, 
it really does not have that many exotic locations. Basically, we have the one, which, you know, it's where they meet each other and, you know, it's the, the backstory of, you know, when their lives were exciting together, when their, you know, relationship was more fun, more spon spontaneous. That is another big part of the movie. They are stuck in the boredom of suburbia. Excuse me, where everything is just this, you know, pretty little perfect, but under the surface, you know. And the film does quite well with that. You know, they have their nice, you know, suburban... Actually, it's quite a mansion. I'm, I guess it might not completely qualify as suburbia, but I don't know. But anyway, you know, we have, and the nice neighbors who they have a good relationship with, and they, you know, they come to each other's houses and stuff like that. And, yeah, the, the film has some fun with that, and the relationship between them has, you know, gotten really boring, and also, you know, the film gets into that, and... You know, there are some very... One of the best aspects of the film is one of the things where it really stands out, you know, other than, you know, the action is great, but there are a lot of great action movies. But you can really tell these two people are married. And there are a lot of bad things to that, but there are also just some things that just... They, they really know each other, and they have, you know, they've, they're accustomed to each other. But yeah, a lot of, you know, jokes and cliches about, you know, old married couples, you know, they've been married for five or is it six years, so yeah. I suppose that's about what there is to say. It... I would say that the ending is a bit unsatisfactory. It's a great action climax, pretty great. But the overall conflict and the just in general the plot, if you actually stop and try to piece it together, it doesn't make complete sense and it's really not entirely resolved by the end of it. So, you know, if you go into this hoping for that, you're going to be kind of disappointed, I would say. But if you go in just expecting fun action and pretty good humor, at least, you know, when it gets good, it's really good. And just a, a nice, fast-paced, sometimes tense, really action-heavy. You know, once, once it really gets going, it is just constantly going, you know. Again, the middle portion of the film, you know, once it's established that both are assassins and once they've ID'd the other for the next, you know, nice long chunk, it's priceless. It is a ton of fun, you know. With that said, I watched this movie when it came out and granted that was, you know, six years ago, give or take, maybe five, but... I really didn't remember that much. There were a lot of details that I had completely forgotten, so I'm not sure it's a movie that's really going to stick with you. There are some kind of futuristic, high-tech gadgets and stuff, you know, as seen in other spy stuff and such. It's not really my thing. I personally thought it was, you know, excessive. Also because, you know, other aspects are somewhat realistic, you know, it, it's not that over the top as far as, you know, a lot of the action at least could actually happen, sort of. But yeah, that pretty well covers it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.